Hi, my name is Jeff Davies and I'm a member of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Team. In this video, we'll examine a fundamental concept in OCI, that of CIDR blocks. CIDR stands for Classless Interdomain Routing. In plain language, it's a notation for defining contiguous ranges of IP addresses. Every VCN has a CIDR block that defines its network address space, and so does every subnet. This is our example CIDR block. This is an IPv4 example, but the same principles also apply to IPv6 addresses. Each number between the periods and before the slash indicates a part of the overall IP address in base 10 numbers. Each part is really an 8-bit number ranging from 0 to 255, or 0 to FF in hexadecimal. So the decimal number 192 is represented as C0, and the 168 is represented as A8 in hexadecimal, as you can see here. And this is 192.168.0.0 as a binary number. Why binary? Because the number after the slash tells you how many significant bits there are in the address space. That information is used to create a bit mask, and the bit mask for a slash 16 number is a 32-bit binary number with the first 16 bits set to 1 and the last 16 bits set to 0. So 192.168.0.0 slash 16 means only the first 16 bits, or 2 bytes, of the IP address are significant. Think of the ones in the bit mask as being immutable. Well, the zeros are free to change value and represent the rest of the usable addresses. Therefore, the second two bytes are available for use with some restrictions that I'll go into later. Inside of this address space, we can now create a subnet. For example, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Since there are only 32 bits in an IPv4 address and we are reserving the first 24 to define the subnet, that means that this subnet has 8 bits of addresses, or 256 possible addresses. This means that a VCN with the CIDR block of 192.168.0.0 slash 16 has a total of 65,535 possible IP addresses to distribute amongst its subnets. For example, you could have up to 256 subnets, each of which in turn could contain 256 IP addresses. Of course, you don't have to use all of the available IP addresses in a CIDR block. They just carve out address space for you to use when needed. Naturally, when you create a subnet in a VCN, its CIDR block must be wholly contained by the CIDR block of the VCN. Consider a VCN with a CIDR block of 192.168.0.0 slash 16. A subnet of 192.168.0.0 slash 24 will reserve the IP addresses from 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.0.255. It fits perfectly inside of the CIDR block for its parent VPN. However, a subnet with the CIDR block of 192.169 dot zero dot zero slash 24 would not fit into the same VCN because its first two bytes do not match the VCN's address space. Remember those restrictions I alluded to earlier when it came to reserved IP use? The CIDR block for the VCN doesn't use any IP addresses at all. It simply defines the network address space that is available for its subnets to use. However, each subnet uses three IP addresses in its CIDR block for internal use and those IP addresses are not available for use by your compute instances and load balancers, etc. The first two IP addresses and the last IP address in the subnet are reserved for the networking service. Therefore, addresses 10.0.0.0 and 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.255 cannot be used by you. The remaining network addresses of 10.0.0.2 through 10.0.0.254 are available for you to use. And that's it for the very basics of CIDR blocks.